On behalf of the Sacramento County Office of Education, it is my pleasure to welcome you to our 2024 Spring Graduation Ceremony. Thank you so much to the Scottish Rite for providing such a beautiful sight. To begin our ceremony, I would like to invite Assistant Superintendent Jacqueline White to the podium for the land acknowledgement. Thank you, good afternoon. The Sacramento County Office of Education humbly acknowledges the land on which we stand today as the home of many past indigenous peoples, but most recently, this is the traditional land of the Nisanan peoples, past and present. We acknowledge indigenous understanding of and reverence for the land and its resources and the respect indigenous people have shown towards all life upon it. We recognize the vast collective wisdom of Native nations past and present who continue to reside upon it now. We must now stand to shoulder to shoulder with that same respect and give assistance to promote the inclusion of the Native indigenous people in our society past and present. SCOE believes in honoring these great peoples with reverence and working together to heal our past and create a unified historical narrative of our common humanity. At this time, I'm going to ask you to please stand and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. Salute, pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. At this time, I would like to invite our superintendent, David W. Gordon, uh, Sacramento County Superintendent of Schools, to the podium to share a few words with you. Thank you, uh, doc, Dr., Dr. White. And graduates, uh, gratitude fills my heart today being here with all of you and seeing our graduates, parents, family members, staff, everyone here today brings me immense joy because today is a big academic milestone for each and every one of you. And it wouldn't be possible without our staff, our principals, our school support personnel, and our great partners, the probation staff, Let's give them a nice round of applause for all, that, for all that they do. Thanks to your steadfast support, mentorship, teaching, encouragement, and motivation, these graduates have reached this significant milestone in their lives and are well prepared to take the next step. I also want to give a big shout out to the members of our SCOE Board of Education who are also here today to support our graduates. We have with us our board president, Bina Lefkowitz, <clears throat> our vice president, Dr. Al Brown, and trustee Joanna Hola. And I also want to uh, acknowledge and thank our Deputy Superintendent, Dr. Nancy Hirota. And as I look out into the audience today, I see parents, grandparents, family members, friends, supporters, siblings, all of you here to support our graduates for their academic achievements. I want to say to each and every one of you, thank you for your sacrifices, your patience, your belief in your child, and also taking the time to be here for them throughout their journey. This moment is to be treasured. Graduates, let's give your family members a big round of applause. And looking at you graduates, I see dedication, hard work, 
perseverance, and success. You did it. And as your county superintendent, your success is what I care most about. And as a teacher and your superintendent, I couldn't be prouder of you. I know that many, if not all of you, have encountered numerous challenges. And for some, reaching this moment has been a struggle. But just look what you've achieved. You've conquered adversity, rise, rose above challenges, and broken down barriers with hard work. Your abilities are boundless, and you're ready to take the next big step. You are more than prepared to become empowered citizens capable of handling anything that may come, by, come your way. Congratulations. Let me leave you with two final messages. First, I want to remind you to ask about the Gary K. Hart Resiliency Scholarship. This scholarship offers former and graduating SCOE school students the opportunity to get financial aid for higher education or employment training. As graduates, each and every one of you is eligible, and I encourage you to apply. More information about the scholarship is in your program, so families and friends, be sure to take a copy home with you today. Secondly, remember the wise words of James Baldwin, American writer and civil rights activist. And he said, if you know whence you came, there is really no limit to where you can go. And nobody can take today away from you, and nobody can take away your achievements now and for the future. Thank you again. And please stay in touch with your SCOE family and let us know when you enroll in college or vocational school. Should you need support, we are always here to help. And now I would like to introduce our guest keynote speaker, Rolanda Wilkins, the founder and executive director of Earth Mama Healing. Ms. Wilkins' mission in life is to assist young people in dreaming of a positive reality outside the world they know. And she's currently a mentor to our young women in all of our programs. Good afternoon, family. How y'all doing? I know y'all at a graduation. How y'all doing? Right on. We are here today to celebrate the accomplishments of our young people. But the message I have is really for you. Like, I always feel so honored when I get to speak to the future, because talking to you is like touching the future I may never see. Y'all can feel that? You all are the promise of people in your family. I, I want to take a moment and talk a little bit about the great continuum. A continuum is something that keeps rolling forward. So you are a part of your family line continuum. A whole lot of sacrifice went into creating you. At one part, you was just a little seed inside of your mother. At one point, when you were born, your mom, your grandmama, your community held you and looked at you and prayed over you and put all of their dreams into you. And rather, if your parent could do it all or none, all of us is a part of a village. But I want to talk to y'all today about how will you add to the great continuum. See, all of y'all had some struggle in getting here. That's what life is all about. To be honest with you, it's always about a struggle. But it's what you do with the opportunity that you have. See, when I was young, your age, maybe a little younger, this was in the midst of the crack uh, era. There was trouble in my family, and I went to school, and I had a teacher named Ms. Winnie Bender over at Freeport Elementary. And I remember one time going to school, and I was kind of acting a fool, and Ms. Bender basically took my desk 
and put it next to her desk, and she turned me into her little assistant. So I helped her erase the board, pass out papers, do all kind of stuff. And then after about two weeks, she placed me right back in the, the place I was sitting at, and she told me, you're going to act like you got some sense because I know how intelligent you really are. All of us have had some Ms. Benders. I had a few. Matter of fact, I love Ms. Bender so much because I went on to do good things, but I never forgot people like Ms. Bender, people like Mr. Frank Withrow, people like Ms. Hester Snyder. These are all of my teachers growing up. And when I was acting a fool, they looked at me and they saw greatness, even when I couldn't see greatness. I'm glad she didn't send me to the principal's office. I mean, I could have really got in real trouble. But you know what? I love her so much. I brought my sixth grade teacher here with me today. Miss Wendy Bender, stand up. Sixth grade, y'all, sixth grade. So I would hope as y'all go out into the world and do whatever y'all gonna do, remember those people who planted seeds in you. Remember those people who invested in you, because it's an investment. You sitting here, I'm glad y'all so excited, but your families is back there like, this is my baby girl. This my, is this my, my young king. They are expecting great things from you. All of us have a story, but it's how you're going to finish up this race. And I'm expecting from y'all, when I look at it, y'all, y'all look so beautiful. I'm expecting great things from y'all. See, my thing is, rather if you be a teacher, a lawyer, whatever you want to be, what's most important is how you treat people. How you treat people. What does your heart tell you? All of y'all come from good stock because you couldn't make it this far if you didn't have good stock. The fact that you finished school, there's a lot of people who wanted to finish but didn't. You are not one of those people. So I hope whatever you do with your dreams and your goals, that you remember the people whose shoulders that you're standing on. Remember your ancestors. Remember people's choices to keep on going so that you could be here. Think to yourself, what will I give back? How will the world be different because I came to the planet? Ask yourself that. The, your little sisters and brothers looking up to you, what would they see in you that make them want to strive? So as I wrap this up, because I'm supposed to give y'all just a little something, just a little something as they say. I want y'all to know we need you. Some of us are betting on you. Some of us want to know what's going to happen with our investment. So it's up to you to think about your grandma, your granddaddy, your friends. Some of y'all friends didn't make it this far. How would they live on in your memory? How would, you, how would they live in your, on in your memory? Like, how would you live your life to where if they was here, they would be so proud? The fact that you made it here today speaks a lot about who you really are. And we are expecting great things from you. Do not be afraid to ask for help. That's why we're all here. This place is full. So we love you. We want to see you succeed because when you succeed, we all succeed. Thank you, family. At this time, we will begin the presentation of diplomas. A professional photographer will be available after the ceremony if you want a photo taken with your diploma. Graduates can receive these professional photos at no cost. If you wish to take additional photos, we encourage you to use the spaces provided in the lobby following the ceremony. Front row, if you'd like to stand up and start working your way over, we'll start this process.
Derek Hogue Smith Jr. Achilles Eaton. Khalees Gallo. Chris Bradford. Ali Adley. Malaya Barron. Jaden Brown. Josephine Galvillo. Leilani G. Maxwell Hackler. Andre Manjikin. Israel Martinez. Braden McCain. Joran Mathis. Giovanni Silva. Manier Thornton. Salote Tiamoni. Jaquela Grady. Angel Mora. Araceli Conchola Armendaraz. Liliana Cruz Vasquez. Ashley Herrera Rivera. Sophia Serrano. Xavier Johnson Vasquez. Adlesia Connor. Alexis Ortega. Rico Ardua. Aiden Howard Polly. Ariana Castro. Mabel Lennox. Amy.
Lainey Lee Bruner. Ayana Marquez. Sydney Etheridge. Sire Foster. Andrew Turner. Devel Lonnie Galloway. Zokari Hicks. Aiden Salas. Chardonnay Martel. Elizabeth Acosto Carrillo. Byron Scoggins. Malachi Richard. Anthony Cano. Sophia Olvera Pichardo. Camry Grisham. Josiah Grant. Walter Landaverde. Manuel Sotelo. Rohit Nasseri. <laughs> Ijuan Habibi. Zania Hunter. Zora Habibi. Marwa Habibi. Michael Wynn. Terrence Carter. Charlie Sims. Kamaya Britton Friday. Jennifer Tadeo Tadeo. Miguel Ramirez. Marcelina Senna. Thank you, Mark. Avriana Carter. Ernaya Williams.
Kenneth Adafumi. Anthony Armstrong. Carlos Alaniz Andrade. Grace Martinez. Ariana Barber. Natalie Cabreas. Dontrell Carter. Antoine Deloney. Dylan Dexter Sin. Dejane Doherty. Joshua Eves. Fernando Garcia. Yadixi Gonzalez Silva. Analicia Gonzalez. Talia Jackson. Justice James. Hey, Brian Jones. Thank you. All right, here we go. <laughs> Ui Lima Kalfusi. <laughs> Jocelyn Martinez. Brian McClay. Matthew Meyer. Serenity Miller. Zane Norris. Josiah Page. Jada Parker. Willasia Perry. Halik Prim. Dejane Sloan. Alexandra Soriano. K. 
Kehlani Suggs. Rosalina Vargas Guzman. Azira Watson. Xavion Williams. Congratulations, Xavion. Superintendent Gordon and Board of Trustees, I assure you that I have personally reviewed the accomplishments of each of these individuals, verifying they have completed the graduation requirements of the Sacramento County Office of Education or a California High School equivalency and are now ready to graduate. I would ask that you accept this group into the class of 2023. Okay, are you ready? On behalf of the Sacramento County Office of Education, I accept this group as graduates. Ladies and gentlemen, I am pleased to present to you the Sacramento County Office of Education Class of 2023. Okay. Please stand, graduates, please stand and prepare for the turning of the tassel. This symbolizes your change from student to graduate. Please, remo please move your tassel from the right to the left to symbolize your movement from high school into the next phase of your life. Congratulations. Thank you and congratulations.